Question 4. A. Cobalt 2 nitrate. After it dissolves in water, it will form this complex ion. Uh, we call hexa aqua. Cobalt 2 ion. And this one, it will react with uh, different uh, ligand. And different ligand, it will give different colors. Part 1. Complete. Table 4.1. Giving the formula of the cobalt containing species for each of the reactions. For reaction 1, when these uh, complex ions react with the sodium hydroxide, it will follow the first equation, this one, this equation. It will form the cobalt uh, hydroxide precipitate, actually. But it's better for you to follow this uh, formula. So means it's going to be cobalt with 2 hydroxide and 4 H2O. Because in this complex ion, only 2 H2O molecules or the ligand is substituted by the hydroxide and form this precipitate and 2 H2O now is removed or get substituted. So this is equations for the reaction one and the cobalt containing species therefore is this one. Right? So this one and this is the blue precipitate. Blue precipitate. For this uh, reaction 2, when this cobalt complex ion reacts with the excess ammonia, so it will follow this second equation, all the H2O will be substituted by the ammonia. And the water uh, and ammonia, they are both neutral. Therefore, the charge of the complex ion is going to follow the cobalt. It's cobalt 2 positive. So complex ion is going to be 2 positive. And after the reaction, it will form this. It will form this complex ion. And now all the ligands uh, will be ammonia. And 6 H2O now removed. So the cobalt containing uh, species will be this one. CO, NH3, black at 6, okay, 2 positive. Or you can say, we can, you can call that hexa amine cobalt 2 ion. But the naming for this complex ion is actually not necessary. And this one, if you want to know the color, is yellow solution. It's not a precipitate, it's a yellow solution. All these color, uh, precipitate and uh, solution, uh, you must memorize. No choice. Uh, you and you need to know the all the reactions and color for the cobalt and co copper. For the reaction reaction three, when the hexa aqua cobalt two reacts with the HCl, uh, it will form this tetrachloro cobalt two. Uh, or uh, this one this one the ions is uh, two negative because uh, chloride is negative and it's four chloride so it's negative four and the overall charge now is two negative so the cobalt containing species will be this cocl4 two negative and please remember all the h2o uh, the ligand okay has been substituted by the four chloride and six h2o removed and this one means uh, after the reaction, the solutions will be a blue solution. Okay, all the colors you must know. For part two, describe the color change seen in the reaction tree. I already told you. Uh, initially, this uh, hexa aqua cobalt two is pink color. After the reaction with uh, HCl, it will form blue. Part B, calcium nitrate is a white crystalline solid. When heated, it decomposed uh, about 500 degrees C. Uh, this is uh, very important guidelines for you uh, to give the answers later. 
Part 1. Write an equation for the decomposition of calcium nitrate. So calcium nitrate, we know that it will form the calcium oxide, the white residue, and the brown gas, which is the NO2, and oxygen gas. So it's going to be 2, 2, 4, 1, the ratio. For the part 2, suggest the temperatures at which magnesium nitrate and barium nitrate start to decompose. Then we need to compare with the calcium nitrate just now. Calcium nitrate decompose at 500. So you must uh, suggest the temperature for magnesium nitrate lower than 500. The actual roughly should be about 300 degrees C for magnesium nitrate. And the barium nitrate is has the greater thermal decom uh, thermal stability, so it's going to decompose uh, at higher temperature, uh, more than five hundred. The actual one is nearly about eight seven seven degrees C. Uh, you you no need to uh, follow exactly this value, as long uh, is uh, lower than five hundred for magnesium nitrate. Uh, better you put uh, three to four hundred, and barium nitrate. Okay, must be higher than 500 degrees C. Uh, for the explanation, you need to uh, explain uh, a few statements. Uh, mostly, it depends. Uh, first, you need to start with the, the ionic radii for these uh, uh, ions. Because it's down the group, we know that uh, all the nitrate size, they are the same. The difference now is the uh, ionic radii of the uh, group 2 cation. From <clears throat> when down the group, the group 2 cation, the size actually increasing. So this is actual sized because uh, the electron's uh, shell is getting more and therefore the ionic radii is getting larger. So first thing you need to mention is ionic radii of group, uh, sorry, group two cation increases down the group. After that, you have to explain. You can explain barium or magnesium. Depends on your preference. For me, I prefer uh, to discuss the uh, magnesium uh, nitrate or the magnesium uh, cation. Uh, so. If let's say now we try to use the magnesium cation, we know that magnesium is, uh, is smaller in size. Magnesium uh, and the barium and calcium, they ha have the same charge now. It's just the size different. The size of magnesium ion is smaller. They have the same charge. So we know that the charge density of magnesium ion is relatively greater than the others because size is smaller, same charge. When the magnesium ion has a uh, greater charge density, what happens? So if you, if you distort the electron crowd of the anion, in this case is the nitrate. Okay, of course it's uh, two nitrate. Lah. So, when the charge density of cation is greater, is great enough, so it can distort the electron crowd of the anion. And it will weaken the bond in the anion, and therefore it's easy to break. So that's why, first you need to mention the ionic radii increases. And if let's say now again, we discuss about the magnesium ion, so Ionic radii of magnesium ion is smaller than barium. Barium. Therefore, the magnesium ion has a greater charge density and greater polarizing power. The distortion means polarizing power. So therefore, the magnesium ion able to distort the nitrate more, more than the others, more than barium. And it can weaken the NO or NO2 bonds more. So therefore, it's easy to decompose and it can decompose at lower temperature. If you want to 
discuss about barium ion then you just uh, you just change the terms make sure like barium is uh, larger than magnesium so the charge density of barium ion is lower and lower polarizing power and hard to distort nitrate and therefore the bond is not easily break okay so that's all for this uh, question thank you